Okay, good morning class. Today we are going to be talking about three important aspects of services and marketing. I'm going to be looking forward to the three teams which are going to be presenting different aspects of the case, looking at the key players, the constraints and the dilemmas. Okay. In this particular case, we wanted them to think about it from the perspective of what is the role of employees? What is the role of management in a once in a lifetime event like the pandemic? This case study is about a service company, uh, which is called the Leboa, Bangkok based hotel chain. The question is, how do you meet, uh, how do you approach that crisis from a, an employee level, from a management level? Because maybe in 10 years time, they're going to be middle man management and even entering senior management. That is the overall learning that I wanted to deliver through this particular case study. I would request all of you all to think about what role are you going to play in this whole case, right? Are you going to be the CEO or the VP of PR um, and uh, special projects? Are you going to be uh, general manager of operations? You may also look at it from the perspective of a normal employee of Leboa. The very survival of these employees were, was in question. So also try to think about it from the employer's perspective. The purpose of case studies is basically to give them simulations, of course, Every company's dilemmas are different. Every situation is different. So we also teach them that no solution is as is adaptable. You have to adopt it. You have to uh, contextualize it and then use it accordingly. Maybe few of us may j finally join hospitality industry. Maybe not, but that doesn't really matter. It's the context. When I take up cases from third term onwards in an MBA program, two year MBA program, I definitely don't do the leading role. So for example, if it's a term one case study, then we do a lot of handholding. But if it's uh, in the case of, in this particular case, when it's later in the program, they've already done and dusted at least 50, 60, 70 cases. By that time, they have the gen general idea of how to approach a case study, right? Look for the key players, look for the constraints, look for the uh, major dilemmas to be solved. What are the constraints involved and so on and so forth? What are the resources available? All right, so I'm gonna pause here now and I'm looking forward to what the teams are presenting. And I will be taking down notes and giving you feedback. Okay. So uh, let's begin by having group one, if there is group one. Yeah, that's you. Devlina. All right, come on over. Uh, so good morning, everyone. Uh, we group one, uh, myself, Shreya, Rosemary and Kaushik are going to present uh, this case, uh, Lebwa. Uh, what it means to us and what we guys have analyzed from this case study, if we compare in an engineering school and in a management school, there is a huge lot of difference between the two. Uh, in these classes, the case studies which we are discussing, I got to know how the management world works. In terms of hospitality, yes, it was about the Libya hotels and the chain it holds. But yes, apart from that, we got to know about a lot of marketing concepts, how the service marketing works, uh, whether it is necessary to be to have an online presence rather than having a word of mouth. Leboa is famous for a good interaction with its customers. It does not follow um, like social presence or we should market our product. The particular mantra of Leboa was privacy, simplicity and service. Brands are created through touch points. Now each of those points, um, touch points helps to build the brand equity, right? Uh, some of them are internal to the organization or uh, hotel. Uh, some of them may be external. It could be the social media presence or um, external third party involvement in the whole process. Brands are built um, not just through big advertisements or big, winning big awards. It is the day-to-day -day activities that really help to build a brand. So talking about Leboa's culture in terms of its main focus was privacy and exclusivity. Now the main question uh, during the case that was raised was uh, will the definition of luxury in the first place remain same in the post-pandemic era? It was a huge discussion point throughout our presentation as well. Uh, like whether we should focus on privacy or we should go uh, online in order to have more customers. Yes, privacy was their mantra and they need to maintain the same. But in terms of getting customers know about this hotel, we'd have to go online. But don't you think there should be a digital presence of an entity? So what we have analyzed and what we think is that Leboa needs to actually step into the social media game because it can't lag behind in terms of other luxury hotels who are giving some service that we are not offering. 
So that is something that Lebo needs to step up to. So sure, if I may just add one line, there is this one sentence there where he, where Deepak Ori talks about that he does not want Lebo to seem desperate for attention, right? And he believes very strongly that influencers are really motivated people to speak about it, which means that they are incentivized to speak. He would rather have uh, five of his genuine customers talk about the brand rather than pay influencers to talk about it without really. having a deep insight into what leboa offers right now in favor of what pratik is saying how many of you knew about leboa before this case none of us right so that's so that's his argument probably if he were on social media it would be more well known right that means the funnel at the top would be broader more people would be aware few of them would be able to afford the luxury of probably staying here and then but at least it would be known outside because everybody knows an oriental mandarin everybody almost knows a, a marriott and you know other hotel chains which are mentioned there but lebua even i didn't know about lebua the role of the case discusser which is a faculty is actually to take a back seat and let ideas come up the job of the facilitator is to poke them or nudge them in the right direction right now when i say right direction cases usually don't have a right answer If the case study is related to a specific concept that I'm trying to teach, then they should not be going off in different tangents completely unrelated. So just to keep them in that, you know, boundary area, we nudge them in the proper direction. So I often interject my questions or give my own viewpoints of what I think and they are free to disagree with me. All right, thank you. Thank you group team uh, team 1. And I think uh, the intro was good. So overall good enough but some key aspects have been left out i'm waiting for the three other two other groups to present thanks group 2 the prerequisite is we come prepared with the cases with the papers that uh, have been provided to us and after that we have the material we have the understanding with our perspective and our limitation of knowledge we had a certain mindset about how hospitality industry works but when we look at it from the faculty's perspective from the from the perspective of an industry person we get to know more about how it actually works so good morning everyone we are group 2 my name is anand joshi and with me is ishika gupta and adya city to present the case on lebua so what we did was we divided the whole case into two factors so there are two factors one is external and other one is internal so let's point down all the factors so after understanding the case we understood that the, there is a dilemma which was to take a decision upon if we have to go digitally present into the market as a on the face marketing or we need to be subtle as we are and it's a learning process for us also right so after every session we normally write down the discussions that have happened in the class we go back and we include that in the next edition of whenever we deliver the case the one of the um, insights that i got from this discussion was the need to use social media right but in a way that is middle ground uh, ori was very clear about it that see i'm i have my viewpoints i have traveled the world one thousands of hundreds of awards but i'm open to the idea if my employee tells me that i need to change but he said that i will only allow the change within a boundary of the brand values outside of the brand value i cannot accept any change the brand image number one another is the messaging the internal factors are their processes so in internal also we have control of different locations and decision related to different locations so i would like ishika to take over the case forward thank you anand we looked at a case and we wanted to provide our recommendations on the basis of swot analysis coming to strength parts of course they had a very very strong reputation when it comes to providing privacy to uh, their customers and also they wanted to provide simple but luxury living which was their focus second is of course pre pandemic we could see that their employees were very very loyal so there were two reasons for it first was the work culture that lebio had and second is the remuneration packages that they offered now we we'll move on to the weaknesses part the revenue per available room which was one of the key metrics that lebio used was actually lower when it came when we compared it with the competitors so that was one key aspect we need to look into when we provide our recommendations second is the dependency on luxury hotel it was a very tricky situation that the case put up uh, put up in front of us because the industry itself is losing the people in it and as an industry it was not attractive 
to come and work for it so the supply of professionals in that particular industry is very low so we need to think of a way that not only we can retain our employee but also make this industry as attractive as it was pre pandemic now either we'll talk about the recommendations on the basis of the swot analysis the first recommendation in fact would be to adopt a customer centric approach it is clear from the case that leboa believes in listening to its customers it wants to do what its customers want adhi what do you think about the elimination of the marketing and training and development teams within the organization so we we believe that it is a very important aspect and not having a marketing team and a training and development team uh, really makes the organization lack somewhere the organizational structure should always have these in place why because it is true that we are listening to the customers but the employees the staff no matter how much experience they are will not be able to implement it on their own they need someone to be able to tell them that this is what we have derived from the insight and this is the way forward that needs to be implemented and same goes for the marketing team unless we build on the data we have gathered we cannot get results so uh, implementing the uh, data analytics into the system is something which needs to be done by the teams and the employee and staff are the ones who are the last mile uh, delivery people in that all right great thank you thanks a lot yeah all right group 3 do they use the learnings of the case study right i have been surprised that uh, case study learnings come into play sometimes 7 or 8 years later also i've had students in you know in my academic journey who have come and said that sir something that you taught in 2015 i suddenly felt that that was very useful in what i'm facing right now good morning everyone my name is arshita and this is abhina with me since we have already discussed about the background of the hotel chain i won't take much of the time we'll just take a, a brief of the what actually happened what actually used to happen pre pandemic and then we'll go beyond discussing about the post pandemic situations post pandemic the tourism industry uh, at the whole collapsed which affected not only the hotel chain but the airlines the other hospitality services as well adding off with the redefinition of the luxury we came to this decision that uh, the previous mantra which was privacy simplicity and services needs to change to the health safety and privacy i truly we truly believe that the opinion of mr ori which was to uh, not invite influencers in the corner uh, like paying them or asking them to advertise them on the social media they wanted it to be a private space the uh, influencing or like the branding positioning could be done uh, strategically for example if uh, if we take shahrukh khan from bollywood everyone in india we know wherever he is going wherever he is staying and he is like completely fine with uh, telling ab- about his details at where he is he staying if the hotel industry can just live work and just directly invite such people who would come and visit it would directly give an uh, advertisement without even telling them so that's how they can position or like advertise themselves actually there's a little bit of a trick there if shahrukh khan were to be invited there the moment he lands in bangkok airport he would disappear Leboa would take care of that because that's their mantra they are actually obsessed leboa is obsessed with privacy for the guests what would happen is shahrukh khan would go and tell the other celebrities who wanted privacy to go to leboa yeah. you know leboa is still benefiting from the fact I that i get your khan. point i get your point but you know the moment he lands there and he, this is something that he mentioned actually from the point of uh, the airport till the time you come back to the airport he is nowhere to be seen I've had feedback from students whether it's a class discussion or a case study discussion coming back after many years and saying that at that time it was just an academic exercise because we're not dealing with real life companies but now when we actually face these situations we remember those situations and we try to see whether those things still apply or not all right thank you